in my last YouTube video, I was telling you all how I was very confident and certain that higher prices will be coming on Bitcoin, why I was in long trades and my targets remained higher. In that video, we actually had a little bit of a golden opportunity as we were presented with a move up as that video was occurring. And we know we had the chance to look at that order flow together. And as looking at that in the time, I even confirmed my bias of, yes, this is bullish order flow. There is no short for me yet. There is no weakness and I will continue to look for higher prices. Well, here we are 24 hours later after seeing a large drop to the downside. So I'm going to cover this drop to the downside, be telling you what this means next for Bitcoin and how we can actually profit on these moves. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. I am going to be going over, you know, some integral parts of not only my trading strategy, but what you really should be implementing yourselves right now. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into the show and cover this last move on Bitcoin. Then moving on to what's happening now and what we are looking for next over the weekend and into the start of next week. So as, as you will hopefully know, if you watched yesterday's video, if you haven't, go watch it now. I was explaining why I was in a long trade. Of course, this was the setup I was looking for intraday, bit of a move to the downside before the increase in price. Of course, that did play out. We did get that move to the downside. And we did get that increase in price. That increase in price led us through the CC, through the NPOC, and actually made its way up to the overall range high, which was simply ending in a swing failure pattern. So that magic line in the end played out very nicely indeed. So I know there's going to be a few people uh, with questions, you know, thinking, Daniel, um, you know, you're looking for higher prices, you're bullish, you're in long trades. And here we are 24 hours later after seeing a large decrease in price. Is it possible to profit on such moves? How are you able to profit if you are long and looking for higher prices when prices decrease, decreased in price? Well, I'm going to be explaining the exact steps necessary so you can actually be on the right side of the market. Of course, first of all, it starts with having a plan for potential short trades. Of course, we had a potential short at the CC. We had a potential short at the NPOC. I myself, as I was saying during the course of that video, as we were hitting those levels, this is not a short for me. I am not going to short here and I will simply look towards my next level. Of course, we've rejected here off the range high. Let me just play you a quick five second clip from my last Champions live stream of how we were prepared for this level. Yeah, we can simply say, yeah, be aware of the range low and range high. So what can you always do be aware of? SFP of the range high and uh, SFP of the range low. and the so that was from my last Champions live stream on Sunday. Then two days later, I have a daily morning update. Where in my daily morning update, we're very close to this range high. And I just confirm this is still a level that we got to be aware of. But the bigger level is still the overall range high. So I'd still be aware of the overall range high here. Uh, that's $31,475. Uh, so for me, that's still the biggest level above us to be aware of, where again, we're either looking for a swing failure pattern. Okay, so we're looking for the swing failure pattern or failed auction of this range high. So actually, funny enough, of course, in that Sunday live stream, I was saying, be aware of the swing failure pattern of range low or the swing failure pattern of range high. Well, hopefully you know what happened next. We actually formed a swing failure pattern of the range low and moved on to a swing failure pattern of the range high. Oh my God, that was absolutely wonderful. I'm just going to now, you know, I, I, I realize we're taking a little bit of time here, but I am going to be moving on to what's happening next. But I just want to educate you and show you some insights that I gave to the champion members. This is so you can get into my brain of what I'm analyzing and seeing and of course educating all in real time as it's happening. So as we started to get that sign of strength, because for me it was lose the level, see the sign of strength for the long, for higher prices to come, right? So I confirmed yesterday morning, Bitcoin with a sign of strength reclaim, I expect to see higher prices to at least $31,000. Everything started to come really nicely as a few hours later, we start to get this nice increase in price. Of course, this is my post, just as I was making this live uh, YouTube video for you yesterday, and confirming to my team as we're hitting that CC, no short trades for me. There is no weakness on the chart. Okay. Then as we hit the NPOC, I confirm to my team once more, no short trades for me off the NPOC. There is still no weakness. I'm still remaining long. Okay. For me, the highest target was the 
you know, a new yearly high. So as we can still continue in price, confirming to my team, shows you the power of reading the order flow, right? From this, I knew not to take a short trade at the CC. I knew not to short the NPOC. I knew it to expect higher prices to come. Now I confirm my team, I'm expecting new highs to come. And of course that new high can result simply in a swing failure pattern of $31,475 being our range high. Okay, and well, <laughs> it's what happened, right? We hit our new yearly high target. My target has been the same for a week now. No need to deviate for the plan. Look for the new yearly high. We hit a new yearly high. We got a bearish reaction and we got a short trade entry. How? Because this is our swing failure pattern of the range high, a setup just as we saw a swing failure pattern of the range low. We got a swing failure pattern of the range high. I confirmed to my team that is a short trade entry. Look at this lovely reaction. That is what we call a perfect bearish reaction. Wick above the level, come back down below. And from that lovely reaction, okay, we obviously, I personally have hit take profit one. I just wanna say this finally. You know, this is why I love swing trading so much. It is on easy mode trading. Swing trading is lovely easy mode trading. Why? We got the swing failure pattern of the range low. From there, it's obviously a long. We then got a swing failure pattern of the range high. That's two swing trades and two wins. There's no need to close the short just as there's no need to close the long. Both of them have hit take profit one. Both of them now with the stop loss set. We can wait for one of the trades to be stopped out and let the other run. By the way, I have also created a new video covering my new swing trading strategy, and this will be released as a contenders video for the contenders and the champions, if that's something you're interested in as well. But look at that lovely reaction as we made our way down. So it just comes to show you, remain patient, okay? You know, obviously this is in the time where we still had a 0.5% stop loss. Uh, it's like people are asking, is that class as a swing failure pattern? Yes, it is a swing failure pattern of the yearly high. Did I take the short? Absolutely, yes, I agree. It's worth the short. We've got a less than 0.5% stop loss. And I love this comment from a champion member. He says, exactamente. When you are presented with such a good, high probability risk to reward trade as a trader, it is our duty to act. It is our duty to act. It is another great trade alongside, <laughs> in their words, the greatest of all time. Lovely short trade, tre set up, swing failure pattern, take the short, not only myself, but you can see others from the long, okay? Lovely take profit, thank you chart champions, into the short trades after the SFB of the high. Lovely comment here. A few months ago, this would have been impossible for me to imagine. This member here is putting in a lot of work, a lot of effort. So I absolutely love to see him absolutely crushing the charts and seeing that effort and hard work equaling profit. But it's lovely to see a lot of other champion members, you know, profiting on these moves, be it from the altcoins or be it from Ethereum or Bitcoin, you know, lots of opportunity, lots of profit to be had. And it all simply, I will say one final time, come from having a plan, being aware of swing failure patterns. And, you know, once you've then seen the reaction, it's taking the trade. And let me emphasize one final time that this, my friends, is a reaction and a half. Wick above the level, straight that bound below. You even had 10 to 15 minutes to take a short trade. Invalidation stop loss is simply above the wick of an SFB. Wow, you've just got one of the best trade entries, uh, I want to say, of all time. Like, that's just a simple trade, bread and butter, for a champion. And, well, that's a, that's a bank stuffing trade right there. And, okay, that's talked about that. I hope that's made sense. And now we're going to discuss what's happening next. So is it doom and gloom? Is it a large drop to the downside to come? Or is this hope? Is this wiping out some longs, getting late shorts for another short squeeze to the upside? Okay. Um, well, for me, it's kind of exactly how I approached my champions live stream. Okay. Be aware of the swing fair pattern of the range low. Be aware of the swing fair pattern of the range high. We got that, right? We got the SFP of the range low. We got the SFP of range high. So now we have completed these two levels. So I'm going to remove this temporarily. Well, what we can be aware of is simply adjust the range, right? So this range has now changed from here to here. We now now have two new levels to be aware of. But for me, what is lovely about this now is because this SFP is right next to this daily, we have that daily level more to be aware of. And this SFP of the range low, well, we can still be aware of that. But we have this NPOC here, which for me is not a strong level. So then we're actually be looking down towards $27,000. 
Okay. So we have a internal range, which has, of course, been a delight to trade. Best trades are always the outer boundaries. So outer boundary range low, outer boundary range high. Look for the SFP. We got the SFPs, right? From within here, we are sometimes granted internal trades, such as the magic lines. You know, these sometimes play out very nicely indeed, but the best trades are always waiting for the outer boundaries as a swing trader. So for me right now, I would be as a swing trader waiting for a subsequent another move to the upside. And again, it's always based off the reaction. Okay, so I'll judge the reaction. Do we form an SFP <laughs> from our previous high? Well, if we do, then of course it's another short trade. Uh, if we don't get that, then that's why I'll be looking towards, you know, $32,500 to $33,000. Just as if we break down here, I'll be aware of an SFP of the range low. And if we don't get that, well, that MPOC that I've just removed. But if we don't see their reaction, I'll be looking back down towards $27,000. So myself as a trader, it's always plan the trade. Okay, plan the trade, trade the reaction. If we get a good reaction, well, guess what? That equals take the trade. Okay, so for me, there's one question that I said at the start of the video. Yesterday, I was bullish. I was long and I was very confident higher prices will come on Bitcoin. I was in longs. What happened next? We did get a long trade setup play out. We did get higher prices to come. And now, 24 hours later, after that rise, we have seen a decrease in price. And I know there will be some confusion of how can you profit if you are long and bullish after seeing a decrease in price. Many will feel that they, it is deceitful or maybe a lie or just not understanding how one can do that. It's as simple as this, my friends. You can be in a long trade, be aware of the reaction off of each levels. As mentioned, if you do not get the reaction, there's no short trade. Where did you get the reaction? At the range high from a swing failure pattern. That is where you then take the short trade and trade it back down to lower prices. So we have profited, yes, that long did end as a profitable trade. Take profit has been hit and it granted us a short trade entry off of the reaction off of one of our absolutely key levels. From there, we are then able to profit as my price moves back down. Okay, not just myself, but other champion members absolutely able to, you know, crush the charts with us on that one. Okay, there's actually one thing that I'd like to end up with here, wrap up with, and it's actually a little bit disconnected from the charts, but regards to this post that I made yesterday. And this is just something that I'd like to echo. I feel it's positive and good, okay? Uh, overall, the message, okay? That, that is life is sometimes extremely hard and it does get you down. Remember, you are never alone and your future will be better. And some people wonder what we mean by never alone. Even if you feel as if you're alone, sometimes you just got to believe and trust and, you know, know there is somebody looking down on you. There is somebody there to help you, okay? Um, stay focused on positivity, love, and doing good things. In return, good things will come back to you in this life. We can all do better together. And I just want to say this, that karma is real, okay? Karma is a real thing, and doing good in life will bring you good things in return. Just as if you do bad things in life, you're going to have bad things come back to you. And that's not to say you cannot ask for forgiveness, and change, change your life and, and you know, you know, become a good person. Um, so if you are down, if you are alone, if you are feeling sad, if you are feeling stressed, you know, you got to try and find something within you to give you some power and some positivity. And sometimes that's connecting with other people. Sometimes that's, you know, doing a prayer. Sometimes that's just, you know, I'm not going to list a whole list of things that you can do, but basically you need to do something that, switches you around and it could be as simple as you know writing down a list of things that you are grateful for today okay and that could just be having a nice meal that could just be having a conversation with someone that could be something very simple and small but as you start to write down these things that you are grateful for um you know this is a good way to practice um you know really starting to change your mindset because we i think we can agree that negativity is a lot to do with mindset and you know your environment so i just wanted to do a wrap up with this for me it was a message i wanted to share um so god i'm grateful that i can come to you with any situation and you will hear me and answer me today i come to you with questions concerns and plans for the future please help me listen to your voice and trust your direction in jesus name amen so what 
I'm taking away for myself and I'm going to be sharing with you is that if you have any questions, concerns or plans for your future, please just maybe try and journal this with me today. Journal, write down your questions, your concerns. If you feel you've been going down the wrong track, what can you do to turn that right? Okay, you have to start making changes. You have to start, you know, asking for forgiveness and then putting yourself on the right track so you yourself can live a good, positive life and help other people. Okay, do good things, receive good things back. I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you know, as always, if you want to see more of the daily, daily live streams, altcoin dedicated streams, of course, we got stock market live trading, we got um, you know, the whole educational content, we got the journal, we got the templates, we got the cheat sheets, we got the speed runs, of course, the whole course. If you want to see all of that and the updates that I give, of course, with that inside of the Discord, that's what you get via the champions at chartchampions.com. I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. I hope you all have a brilliant week ahead. I hope you understand my methods of trading, which is level to level. Check the reaction. Again, if there is no reaction or no bearish signs, there's clearly no short trade to be had until you come up to a level where there is clearly a bearish reaction. And well, then simply that is time to take a short trade entry, right? So it's level to level trading and reaction. For me, this works very profitably indeed. And not only me, I suppose, but also the other champions that have really studied and put their, you know, their time and dedication to this. You know, what seems impossible can become possible if you, you know, believe and you also make changes and put in the work necessary to see the impossible to become possible. Thank you ever so much. Love you all. Thank you and goodbye.